unbelievable pass you had to set up Will on that uh, last goal. Like, what did you see on that play, and was that one of the nicer highlights you've ever conjured up? Yeah, um, you know, I saw Nico get the ball, and, you know, their right back was high, so, you know, I thought there was some space to be had there, so I just made a run, he found me in stride, and I took one touch, and, you know, I pride myself in being able to slip guys in and create chances, and, you know, for me, I, you know, I just played what I saw, and it, I, it wasn't like something I was thinking I was going to, you know, hit it with the outside of my foot, it's just, for me, the stride I took, it was the easiest ball to play, and it worked out well. Obviously, fell out of the rotation yeah. for a while there. Yeah. Um, what was going through your head during that time, and, and how do you keep from like completely losing your yeah. your mentality? Yeah, you know, I was injured a little bit. Um, you know, playing with a cast for two months wasn't easy. Um, you know, for me, and you know, we got a lot of good players, and I think you know, for me, the last month or two, you know, the form I've been on in practice, you know, I felt like I deserved to be on the field. Um, you know, and for me, you know, last game, just in the last couple games, just trying to take advantage of opportunities and. You know, whether it's here or wherever, I feel like I'm, you know, a quality enough player to, to contribute every every game in MLS. So for me, it's just a matter of making the most opportunities that I'm giving them. It looked like the injury happened. If I remember correctly, you were kind of doing a training drill with Gustav, yeah. and uh, and you immediately looked like you knew something was wrong. Yeah. I mean, what's going through your head? You know, you're obviously trying to get into a new team still. And yeah, you know, I'd I'd hurt my groin, miss a few weeks, and had that, then you know, miss a few games with my ankle. So. You know, combined between those three things, it was it was a significant amount of time. But for me, you know, since I've, you know, come back from that, and I wasn't playing right when I came back from that, but in practice, I felt good. You know, I felt like once I got a chance, I was going to play well. And you know, I, you know, I'm feeling I'm feeling really good at this moment in time. You're one of four guys from within the league that yeah. joined this team. Yeah. Last year, you were watching MLS go. Yeah. Now you have the opportunity to play in it. Yeah. What's it like? Kind of completing that. Yeah, I watched it last year, having no idea I was going to be on Seattle. So for me, I was a, a totally neutral observer. Um, you know, we had just lost to Toronto. Um, you know, I was in Montreal, so I think for me, I was probably rooting for Seattle just because I was still on Montreal and Toronto was a rival. But it's it's crazy now coming full circle and, and getting a chance to do that. And I feel like, you know, the game might not have been you know the prettiest last year. I remember just watching it, but I think you know now we're playing well and have a chance to go in there and you know hopefully control tempo and really dictate the game. Is there a bit of a different desire for you guys looking for your first one yourself, Will, Lamar? Yeah, for sure. It's something, you know, it's the reason you play. Um, you know, for me, I'm not a, I'm not an individual stats guy. I'm not someone who cares about accolades. You know, for me, I'm, I play to win championships. I did it in college, um, you know, for me, and I'm looking to get my first MLS Cup. How satisfying is it to go uh, against Toronto FC, the team that you bowed out to in uh, the Eastern Conference? Yeah, it'll be it'll year. be nice. You know, you have obviously some familiarity. I played, I think we played them five times last year between you know league playoffs, open or uh, Canadian Cup. So I think you know for me, you know, I have familiarity with those guys, and you know they're obviously incredibly talented, and you know have some new pieces this year like we do. Um, so hopefully, you know, it'll be a good game. You've uh, been here only about a year, yeah. less than a year, yeah. I guess. Uh, but early in the season, I talked to you. You seemed like you were really liking living in Seattle. Mm -hmm. yeah. Does it start to feel like home at this point? Yeah, you know, for me, obviously I'm a lot more comfortable now than I was nine months ago. Um, you know, settled in, fiance has a job, everything. You know, so for me, off the field, you know, the guys in the locker room, you know, after this year, guys are gonna come and go. It's just the nature of the league. But I think, you know, for me, feeling comfortable um, living here is something that goes a long way to hopefully, you know, an even more successful year too. Does it change the mentality, you think, when you have a bunch of players who feel like it's not just the place where they play, but it's the place where they, they really live and they want to kind of make a life. Yeah, you feel pride, um, pride for the city, pride for the fans. I think, you know, you're able to kind of connect with the people of the city. Um, so when you, when, you, when you show up to game day and there's 50,000 people there, you feel like you're kind of just one of them, um, which makes it, you know, you're going you're gonna to do your job because you're a professional, but I think it makes it a little bit easier when you feel that connection with the city. When you meet random people, do you tell them you're from Seattle? What do you tell them? From, when I'm from Seattle? Like when, you, when people say, like when you're, when you're describing kind of what you... You're, I say you're just I, Harry Ship. I say I, I live in Seattle. Actually, I, whenever I meet someone, I never tell them I play soccer. Uh -huh. You know, I tell them I do my fiance's job just so I don't have to talk to them about soccer. But, <laughs> but uh, no, I say I'm from Chicago and, and got transferred out here now for a job. But uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm liking it. <laughs>